What's up, YouTubers? Uh, so I'm gonna show you a couple tricks uh, that a lot of people are doing, but everyone does it differently, so that's the cool thing. But I can show you how to do it, and then you can take that and build onto it, and I'll probably steal it from you. So, uh, real quick, you just grab the stick, right, like so. And I do it in like the Diary Jane video, and I, I do it almost too much on shows. Even in Black Label, I do it. But uh, it's a cool visual effect. So what you want to do is picture taking a stick like this and going and going after someone's throat like that. Like you're going to take a sword and cut their throat. And what you want to do is first teach yourself how to spin the stick, not like this. It's kind of the same concept teaching yourself to throw it up and then let it fall. Throw it up. But you're going to hold your, put your thumb on it and you're going to put your index finger and you're going to hold it like so. And what you're going to do is the kind of same concept, but what you're going to do is just using your wrist, you're going to teach yourself to kind of spin it like that. Letting the stick do its job. Letting it come down and go back up. Kind of like a pinwheel. Okay? And once you get that, you're a little faster, and then the motion becomes a little shorter. Just using these two fingers. Okay? So now really slow, like I said, going towards someone's throat, or towards the audience, you're going to do that. And right when you throw it, the stick is going to literally spin, you're going to spin it, and you're going to let it fall. And right when you let it fall, you keep those three fingers out, and then you close them. So really slow, it's this. Okay, one more time. And now a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Faster. And now when you do it with your right, also do it with your left. Okay, so now, when you get on the kit, just a good exercise is playing like an ACDC beat and teaching yourself just to play it on the hi-hat, going like this. How do you get there so quick? Well, you have to actually speed this motion up to get to the next hit to be in time. So it's like a really quick thing that you have to get there to hit that, and it kind of teaches you just to play very relaxed, not like and rushing. Now you might hurt your knuckles and stuff, so be really careful at it. But then you can do your snare. So you got this. doing that. So an another cool little fill that you can do, I haven't uh, got it down pat yet, but that's the beauty. That's why I do this stuff on YouTube. I don't edit the stuff and I want you to show that I also make mistakes. No one's perfect. So I, I want to give people hope. They say, well, I can play better than that, dude. Which you can. It's not hard. So you want to start on the floor, Tom, hi-hat, and then you're going to add two kicks. Okay? So you're going to go. Spin it like this. Okay? So again. Okay? 
So now, once you get that, then you can try to do crossovers. And that gets a little more time consuming because you really got to practice it and you got to get it clean because you got to get this hand over here and this hand over here. So it goes like this. Work on doing. Alright, so next time, if you have any other questions, I'll be more than happy to do another tutorial on whatever you guys need to know. Peace and chicken grease.